Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and I welcome back to the second part of this tutorial series which is Node.js real-time chat with Socket.io okay? So we're gonna have to install three uh, front-end libraries for our application which are Socket.io for the front-end remember we installed Socket.io for the Node.js backend now we need to install the front-end library and we need to install another library called jQuery Cookie which you can get from this URL here and another one which is of course just jQuery library okay so let's go ahead and grab socket IO for the front end so just go to this URL here as you can see in my browser and um, just click on socket.io so what that will do is it's going to open um, the code for that library okay so just click on raw and copy everything that you see inside here okay it's quite a long file so just do a control A um, or command A if you're on a Mac and just copy that so let's go back to our project here and um, all the front-end assets are going to leave inside public and let's create another folder there called JS and then in there let's create another file called socket.io.js socket.io.js so it's IO not UO so I'm going to paste in all the content that I had from um, this IO window here okay so I'm going to save that and close it so next let's go ahead and grab jQuery cookie we're gonna use that to be able to store usernames for our front end so as you can see notice that um, you are in the browser here and go to that and so cookie.jQuery so let's see where we can get the um, source file for that so go to src and um, just click on jQuery.cookie.js and click on raw and as usual let's just copy all the contents there and create another file called jQuery.cookie.js jQuery.cookie.js and we're going to paste that in there and then save it and close it finally let's go to the jQuery website which is just jQuery.com in as it says in my URL here click on the big download jQuery button here and on this page there's two main versions of jQuery 1.x and um, 2.x usually I go for the 1.x because it has some um, compatibility for all the browsers but it doesn't really matter um you can go with 2.2 as well so let's just go ahead with that so i'll click on download a compressed production jquery 2.2.2 and it should open that up in another window um so it seems like that's not working so i'll just do a command click or open that in another tab okay so that should go to go code.jquery.com and open the minified version for me so as you can see it's opened it inside my um window here so i'll just come on, control a all of that and go to my um, text editor here and paste that in a file called jquery.js okay so i'll paste that in there save it and then close the window the next thing that we need to do is grab twitter bootstrap from the um, bootstrap github url so i'll paste in a url which i have um, already retrieved so um it's just this URL here so click on bootstrap.css and just notice that this is a CSS file it's not a JavaScript file like the other three libraries and just click on raw and just do a control A to copy everything and but now instead of pasting it in the JS folder we're going to paste it in a CSS folder and let's create another file there called bootstrap.css and we're going to paste in the contents of that there so I'll just do control S to save or command S on a Mac and now let's um, create our chat form to look a little bit nicer but first we need to link to our assets that we have downloaded so I'll just do a quick link here and it lives in um, bootstrap.css uh, inside a CSS folder Okay, so I'll come down here just before the closing body tab. I'll do a script uh, with source, and the source is JS for slash jQuery dot JS, and I'll just duplicate that and do jQuery dot cookie dot JS. Duplicate it again and do socket dot IO. And last but not the least, let's just link to main dot JS and just create that file here. That's where we're going to write our custom code so main.js okay so finally i'll just um, paste in a quick snippet that i have created um, up front 
which is what will is going to contain our chart form okay so it's just a um, bootstrap container i'll just move this inside there and um, it has a column of eight and uh, we've pushed it to um steps to the right so that's in the middle and this is where our chat messages are going to live in when we're communicating with other chatters okay so actually i'll just remove this issue big here because it's redundant we already have a node chat inside of here and this is our chat form and this is our messages list okay so let's head over to the browser and remember you must have your um, node server running here it says that um express application started so make sure that you have that there and go to your browser let's close all these windows here because we no longer need them but make sure you're loading localhost 3000 when you refresh you should see this chat application here provided that you have loaded all the assets like we did a few minutes ago okay so one last thing that we need to do is we need to connect to our node.js server so inside here let's do a document already and this is just a regular jquery thing document ready and we just pass it an anonymous function inside of the as a callback here so in there you can do something like socket equal to io so this io is made available because we included um this file here this socket.io.js okay so that's what will connect us to the server okay so let's go back to our browser and refresh and let's look in our console here you will not see any message there because we're not configured our server to serve up messages when um, a user is connected so let's go ahead there and do that so let's come right underneath where we're using um, the express.static functionality here so do a io dot on so this just looks pretty much like vQuery so basically we're setting on that event handler on the io listener here saying anytime a user connected so we're gonna say io dot on connection anytime a user connects we're going to pass in a anonymous function and in there we're going to just do a console.log of a user connected okay so let's um stop our node.js server and restart it again and um, now when we go to the browser it says a user connected and um it's because the reason why we didn't need to refresh the browser is that anytime a user um you start a node.js server the connection here cuts off but when the server starts again it um, connects automatically so we're going to load up um, firefox and um, we're going to load up this url there just to show you that many users are connected okay so firefox has updated and i'll just copy this url here go to firefox paste it in there so let's go to on node.js server it says a new user connected okay so um that brings us to the end of this tutorial video where in um, we made our first connection to the server and in the next video we're gonna see how to send our first chat message okay and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in another video cheers bye bye